Minaye Donko. Minaye Donko Muntari is my guest on the show. Hello. Welcome to the show. <laughs> it's good to finally meet you. I know. Well, first of all, thank you for supporting the brand. Always. Um, I think you were one of the ladies that just jumped on it. You said, okay, well, she has this brand on the market, women supporting women. I'm going to do this for yeah. her. So nice, nice to finally yeah. meet you and a big thank you for the support. I love this. I mean, we'll talk more about yeah. Sincerely by Minai because obviously um, I have, I mean, menstrual health is also dear to me just like it is dear to you. Right. So I, I love this product. That's why I jumped on it. Thank you. And I think once women are doing anything, we women should support as well. That's the only thing really we can do. really appreciate that. Yes. Thank you. Yes. And yes, welcome once again. Congratulations on your second baby. Minai, how did you hide that from us? I mean, I was like, ah, she has a baby, a second one. Congratulations. <laughs> Do I say thank you? Yes. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you. Um, but why did you hide it from us? It, I didn't intentionally, you know, hide it. But I think this time around, I just wanted to enjoy my family. Mm. I wanted a peace of mind. I wanted to, um, you know, have more. Because I have a, a, a son. A son. He's five now okay. and you know he's very demanding and you know being pregnant and having a five-year-old a toddler it's not an easy task mm. so I wanted to just you know be in a in a you know a very peaceful environment mm. and you know sometimes when you make the announcement showing all the maternity yeah, pictures yeah. and everything there's a lot of pressure on you you know to constantly post or answer mm. questions mm. and I wasn't really Ready. you know in that frame of mind to do that. I just wanted to really enjoy that moment, mm. and I did. Mm. Mm. Um, it was a very beautiful pregnancy. Um, I got to know myself even better mm. as a mother. You know, I, I always say women are very strong, but once you go through motherhood, you'll understand you know, what it takes mm. and what it you know, mm. means to mm. be a woman. Mm. So mm. Um, I'm at this point in my life just completely um, I've, I've evolved <laughs> from that girl yeah. to, you know, being a mom Mother. with a little boy and now having two kids. I wow. think it's just women are very, very unique. We are unique. <laughs> it looks like you don't want to tell us whether it's a boy or a girl. It's a girl. Oh, no! Congratulations! My little mini-me. <laughs> oh, wow. Finally, you have a mini-me. A little, oh, well, she's very feisty. Wow. It's, you know, I'm not complaining. <laughs> it's, it's a tough world out there, so you need to have a feisty yeah, one, you know, yeah. to um, be able to, you know, um, push through. <laughs> it's, um, no, she's sweet. Um, mm. my, my kids are lovely. They keep oh. me grounded. Um, and I think just looking at them really, you know, gives me that drive mm. to do what I do mm. every mm. single mm. day. Mm. You know, and my husband mm. is always like, um, you know, do you want to go out for dinner? I'm like, no, I'm with the kids. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so now they come first. Yes, of course. And everything oh. else is, you know, after. From the way you're describing motherhood, motherhood looks so beautiful. It I can't wait beautiful. to be a mother. Yeah, it's, it, but you have to be ready. Okay. You have to be ready, you know. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's one of the beautiful, you know, experiences mm. you could possibly, you know, experience. Yeah. But it's just, you need to be ready, ready. and equipped. Equipped is the key equipped. word. <laughs> Be ready and equipped as well. Okay, so we've spoken a bit about, you know, Minaye and her baby. And you put me on the spot. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but it's, it's okay. fine. It's Minaye, okay. sincerely by Minaye, clearly menstrual health is important to you. Clearly you hold it very dear to your heart. Let's talk about why menstrual health. Why did you decide to start sincerely by Minaye? Interesting question. Um, so the whole idea came about, as you know, I'm the national director for Miss Universe Ghana. And um, I get to, you know, groom these young ladies. We empower them. We um, go through a series of um, um, activities when they go through the um, preparation towards the main events, which is the pageant. And um, in 2017, when we were preparing for the main pageant, I realized that Everything that we did was focused on, you know, the physical beauty, mm. you know, the intelligence of the girl, everything else but personal hygiene. Mm. But the topic came up and I was just blown away. I was actually very surprised uh, by the fact that a lot of these young women didn't know anything about their bodies. Mm. So it just really got me thinking and, you know, um, we, we like to look a certain way, we like to look presentable, but 
what's most important is our bodies. Yeah. If you are not, you know, taking care of, you know, our, vital, our parts. vital parts, you know, you are not really um, doing what needs to be done. Mm. So I, I started doing my homework. I started digging. And I ask a lot of questions. Why, who, this. what? And people are like, ooh, was that question? Questions so, too much. You know, but <laughs> I'm very inquisitive, you know. So um, I wanted to understand, you know, the, di the dynamics of our, um, you know, what was happening, mm. what the young women were, you know, doing with regards to when they have their menstruation. Yeah. So a lot of questions, you know, popped up. And I decided to start doing my market research. We organized a focus group, which <laughs> was amazing. <Wow. clears throat> But um, they raised a lot of questions, and I realized that, you know what, this is a problem that needs to be, you know, um, taken care of. So um, we looked at it, and um, we decided to, I decided to, you know, take it up. just take this big, bold step, you know, create my own brand. Um, of course, a quality sanitary pad that every woman... I was coming to that, I've used it. Thank you, you know, can really appreciate, but at the same time, a medium for young women to also, you know, ask questions, mm. you know. So what we've done is we've partnered with Luca Health as okay. an in-house gynecologist. So Luca Health, thank you guys so much for all the support. You've been amazing. Um, just to answer some of our questions, mm. because a lot of women are just clueless. Yeah. Yes, I have my period and that's it. Mm. I, I can just, you know, use a toilet paper. But, you yeah. know, there's a lot of things that we... You know, we young, you know, the young women here are not really familiar with. So I think we wanted to just, you know, I wanted to create a brand that not, it, not just a brand that would sell quality products, products, but also educate, educate young women. So aside and, selling it or having this brand, mm -hmm. you also educate. Educate, you know, our, our um, social media platforms are always, you know, we're throwing questions yeah. and we have live chats with um, the gynecologists, you know, so they answer a lot of questions and... These women are like, please don't let her leave. I yeah. need to understand this. Because, wow. you know, they, they grew up not being comfortable talking about menstruation. Exactly. So, again, it goes back to stigmatization, all mm -hmm. these taboos that surround periods. So we want to tackle that and ensure that women, you know, empower the young generation to understand that menstruation is part of life. Mm -hmm. Menstruation is what creates mankind, yes. you know. So I'm trying to drag the man along too like I hey saw, i saw a live with uh, Muntari, <laughs> Muntari. some time ago i'm like do you, mind, you know would you mind coming you know to our live chat? like for what <laughs> i'm like you know just talk about menstruation he's like sure mm. you know and he doesn't have a problem with no. that but a lot of men do yes so it was for me you know kasule is the alpha male the you know soccer player and you know like they 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 view him in a, a, a particular light. light, you know, so I wanted people to just see the other side of him. Mm. And um, we're yet to go back on uh, the line again because the <laughs> internet was horrible. But um, yeah, so just so if the younger generation would see someone like him mm. being comfortable talking about menstruation, they could also they follow, also. you Good. know, so um, it's just been really exciting. We're stocked in all the shell shops in Accra. Um, we're yet to stock in Malcolm, Marina Mall, Palace Mall, and most of the pharmacies, you know, around. around. Like, so any pharmacy near Very you. Very soon it will be nationwide, don't that's, worry. That's our, the, that's our goal, really, um, to, you know, have sincerely um, nationwide and have yeah. everyone understand that this is, you know, owned by a Ghanaian woman. You know, a lot of people would ask me, Mine, do you use your product? Of yes, course. I do. You know, of so. course, this is <laughs> Ghanaian made. It's made by Minaye. She's the owner of it. So it's important that we patronize her. It is very important. And I, I, I think I can confidently say that you're not doing this because of money. Because I know during the lockdown, you gave more than 2,000 sanctuary yes. pounds. That's a lot of money. A lot. I <laughs> actually wanted to give money. more. And my dad was like, hey, calm down. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know? No, not um, in that sense. But um, I think a lot of people during the pandemic, during the lockdown, were thinking food. Yeah water you know the basic necessities but you know this is part of yeah, it too of course. you know a lot of these kai women would rather use a um a piece of cloth, cloth. you know during the menstruation which is you know in the long term oh, will genetic. affect their health you know um so i decided to just focus and make sure that they were also taken care of yeah. by providing them with um, the sanitary pad so it wasn't just about food 
um, or water, mm. but of course the sanitary pad is um, something that was needed. What was the, the feedback like for you? You know, a lot of people didn't expect that. You know, they were like, oh, okay, so she made a donation, mm. great, but they didn't know it was my brand until I decided to, you know, you know share it on <clears throat> social media. We, we initially had um, a, a launch date and then COVID-19 <laughs> happened. Out. So it's like, okay, let's just um, get the word out there to the public. So I reached out to some of my, um, you know, friends. Nanaba, if you're watching, she's amazing, yeah. eh? Sewa, yeah. you guys yeah. are supportive. And you know, when they say um, women supporting, supporting women, women, a lot of women say, yeah, we're supporting you. But when, when it comes just... time, you know, like the time to actually do it, it's a yeah. different, you know, situation. So I do really appreciate all the women that you Came know supported and you know spread the word because I mean it takes um, a village to make something work. It does actually. Mm -hmm. Well done on this. But you do a lot when it comes to charity. You have a school, um, you know, educating young people, paying their school fees and all of that. Briefly, let's talk about that before we get to we'll end with Miss Universe. Yeah, you know, a lot of people refer to me as a charity lady, you know, <laughs> so I get a lot of emails yeah. and, you know, they slide in my DM, you know, I'm going to school and I need this. Um, I've always believed that whenever you're in a position that, you know, you are capable of giving back, you should, you know, yeah. and um, I've been blessed to really, you know, be in my position. Um, I think even from childhood, dad, you know, like my father always say, it's always, you know, share. If yeah. you have a piece of bread, yeah. you need to share. And yeah. I never understood that until, you know, I grew up, you know, to see what he did in his community. Mm. And I wanted to just follow his footsteps, same. you know. Um, so charity is something that is very important to me. And um, we've been operating the school for over 12 years. Wow. Yeah, so during the lockdown, the teachers were like, are you going to pay us? <laughs> I'm like, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> you know? Don't worry. Um, so we're in that together. But it's just really fulfilling to know that um, you've made a difference mm. in someone's mm. life. Mm. And, you know, when you think about it, it's not that much. No. You know, maybe you don't buy that purse that you really want, but in return, you, you know, support a group of people. Are you so open to help? I mean, if somebody wants us, wants to donate to you so you can also donate back? Yeah, we, we don't do a lot of advertising. Um, I think, um, uh, yeah, my, my team keeps saying, Mine, we need to put yeah. it out there, you know, but if anyone would like to support, yes. I mean, we Why won't not? say no to that, but we don't really advertise the charity. Right. Um, this is something that I've always tried to link to my brand. So, for instance, my skincare line, you know, um, yeah. proceeds from purchases or profit sales percentage goes to um, the charity. Wow. And we're linking it to the Sincerely, Sincerely brand as, as well. well. Wow. So, wow. Um, yeah, because, you know, when you're paying out of your pocket, <laughs> you're like, Indeed, okay. the woman <laughs> with the charitable hat. Minaye don't call. But what's happening with Miss Universe? We all know we're in the COVID season, so definitely there, there can be an event. Well, Is there an event? Uh, well, um, you know what? I pretty much went back and forth with the international office, mm -hmm. and we needed to try and figure things out. Right. And I think that whatever happens in life, you need to be able to adjust to the situation. Um, so as much as I wanted to, you know, put up the whole glam night, you know, the whole pageant thing, um, we've decided to appoint a representative and focus on doing good. Right. So instead of, you know, the, you know, the, like the whole glam, mm. the whole, um, you know, I'd say um, beauty aspect of it, we're looking more into, you know, the charitable side. So we'll do a lot of um, charity work with this young lady. Um, and uh, we are unveiling her next week. Okay. So we'll keep you posted. I um, can't wait. Yes, 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 yes. Um, it's going to be quite exciting, and um, I know that you do very well. Mm, mm, mm. You do very well. We wish you all the best, Minaye Thank you. Thank Before you. we go, do you watch football? Mm, not now. No, not no? currently. So you don't have a favorite like, team? Okay, who's playing? Switch. I mean, <laughs> so you don't have a favorite team? I know Nanaba will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, girl. But no, um, I. You know what? I think from my experience with mm. AC Milan. Okay. Um, they have a special place in my heart because of the way they treated my husband mm. and um, yeah, how they treated his family as well. They were, they were a close-knit family and mm. I think it was just amazing how they 
treat their players. So, so for you, wherever uh, that's where you well, are. Well, yes, clearly. <laughs> of course. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, at the moment, I still follow AC Milan. I, okay. That's the only mm. um, team that I follow. Is it because he's still following AC Milan as well? No, they're, they're just kind-hearted. Like, the team itself, the organizers, I mean, the, the team, the like the squad. The, yes, they're, the, the officials, mm. they're amazing. They, they take you in. We're a family, yeah. and regardless of, you know, if you're playing with them or not, as, as long as you were with them at a certain point, you are still family. You are still family. And they, they were very supportive with my charity work when as I was well. there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Minai. And Thank you. And Sincerely V is out. Where can we get to briefly tell us? So, yes, um, in all shell shops in Accra, okay. we're yet to stock in all uh, Malcolm shops as well. So, Kumasi, Takradi, I know a lot of people have been asking, yeah. where can we get it in Cape Coast? Is coming soon to the nearest Malcolm um, near near you, mm. um, Palace Mall, uh, Palace Mall. Oh my gosh, Palace Mall, Marina Mall, Marina Mall as well. And Can you speak any local dialect? Oh yes, which one? Dear him. Tree. Any rapia put tree mumaye. Oh, kaso mungo. Oh, and to me, I show me that. So biya wa support me me do biya se. Um, sincerely, no ube nyano wo any shell shop. Um, Ceciano, yeah, China, yeah, finalize the BBR with Malcolm. And he say, um, contract to go through our uh, announcement on your page. So, we we'll call sincerely, um, <laughs> Ghana. Mm -hmm. Social media platform is very excited, is engaging. Yes, we we'll call one of the questions because you're a doctor. Uh, we question be a <laughs> so sincerely for every woman for sincerely every woman. indeed for everyone yeah. listen i've used it and i can testify it's a good brand i mean i'm very picky when it comes to sanitary parts i've used this i love this and so Thank you might you. as well use it sincerely by me nice this is not hype this is not hype. Believe me when I say this is not hype. Thank, Thank you so much, Minai. Thank you, beautiful Thank you so lady. Much. Thank you. Thank, so you. Much. <laughs> Thank you. So that was Minai Don Commentary, CEO of Minai Group. And she is uh, the owner of Sincerely by Minai. Purchase her. This is a Ghanaian brand. Let's support it. Let's take this to the world. Let's push it to the world. This is still G um, expressive live on GH1 TV. And of course, we're still talking about our menstrual health. Don't go anywhere. It's our Health and Wellness Wednesday. My name is Jackie. <laughs>